three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. <laughs> okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's darling. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. So much hair! But you are obese. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is anyone home? Hey girls, today we are adding yet another I Lied video to Amber's ever-growing collection of I Lied videos. Okay you guys, so I got back from a friend's house, I want to say like 30 minutes ago. I ordered McDonald's. I actually drank tonight, went to my friend's house. Oh, and by the way, my nails are growing out so much. No one cares! Hey guys, so this whole thing with like my surgeon and the reaction channel doxing him, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I genuinely thought people weren't really gonna care because I feel like that's usually what happens. Like I share something that is like really big to me and a lot of people make it really small. I see we're starting off and I lied to you video with yet another law. <laughs> She knows exactly what she's doing when she clickbaits. But a lot of you have been like, wow, that was wrong. Why did you lie about your surgeon? Because a lot of people went back and they were like, wait, I thought your surgeon was in a different state. It's gonna have to be like a whole moment. I'm thinking I want an appointment in like January because it is out of state and I wanna make like a whole day of it. It is a connecting state, so I won't have to drive too far. But between getting there and then coming home and then like the actual appointment, it's probably gonna take a good 16 hours. So we might actually like stay in a hotel. But as you guys know, I don't drive. So Feline will be taking me cause she's wonderful. She's just so supportive through this whole thing, but she works a lot. So um, we have to plan in advance because it is in a different state. Wait, I thought your surgeon was a female. I think that with the surgeon, she's, uh, she's pretty good. Um, the research I've done on her and like you get to watch this little like video thing and like learn about her. She seems legitness. So yeah, I did lie. I did lie about who my surgeon was. I lied about where they were and it's because I wanted to steer Narc Alert. I wanted to steer Kicking Geese, which are the two reaction channels who did dox him. But it was first Narc Alert and then Kicking Geese decided to do that as well. And in several live streams, she would pull up, you know, his seminar, pull up his name and say that this is Amberlynn's surgeon. Let's get the timeline right. On November 29th, 2022, Amber made a video announcing that she was going to be getting weight loss surgery. I looked over NA's channel and did see this one particular live stream in which she and KG pulled up the weight loss surgeon seminar and his name. KK says there's 21 weight loss centers in Lexington. Okay, so I've got some work to do then. Is that what you're saying? To find the seminar? Well, I guess you can narrow them down to like driving distance from Lexington. Here, I bet it's baptisthealth.com. Weight loss surgery seminars. Register to attend a live, view our online sem Oh no, this is view our online. What to expect? Now I'm going to be up all night looking at Kent. <laughs> Kent <laughs> Kent 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 bariatric surgery places. Well, I can poke around too. <laughs> we'll find it. Yeah. We'll find it. Okay, you guys, I just registered. No. <laughs> oh, Danny asked, wait, is this the doctor from Thousand Pound Best Friends? I didn't watch that. That's interesting. Was it, Were they in Kentucky? Did she, did she say that the doctor was famous? I, I feel like she did. Yeah. Oh, it is this guy. Looks familiar. This is the guy. Eric Smith. It's the guy. <gasps> oh my God. That's stop it, Daddy. That's gonna be her surgeon. Oh, Lexington Road, Georgetown, Kentucky. It's probably close. I wanted to steer people away from my personal medical information and life. So I stated multiple times that my surgeon was female and that it was in a different state than where I was actually living. I only ever did that because I was scared since I knew that he was doxxed. While I'm not excusing what NA and KG did, Amber did what Amber does when she wants to brag and disclosed information about her weight loss surgery team and surgeon that he was famous, that it was less than a 20 minute drive from her house, reading out emails from her team, went to a class at the weight loss clinic where she ran into a viewer and then talked about it in a video, etc. And this surgeon is actually amazing, an amazing surgeon. Um, number one surgeon in the state where I am going. Um, this surgeon has won awards. People think that my 
um, weight loss appointment was a seminar. No, it was not a seminar. Um, it was an appointment where we got to see the surgeon talk to us. We got to have a class with like dietitian, like the insurance people were there. It was like this whole education class. While I was in this class, because it was just like a class of just like people like me, that was the first thing we did. We sat, it literally looked like a classroom. <laughs> I'm a little iffy on what I want to share in this journey. I guess I will talk more about this because this is going to be like a big focus on my life. And I just keep going back and forth between I don't want to talk about it. I do. I don't. I do. I don't. I do. And it's confusing. This is literally my medical, you know? So it's like sharing it with thousands of people is hard. I feel like I'll regret it more if I don't share it i have a lot of paperwork in my hand right now like it's it's a lot like this is the whole pamphlet right here what i have in my hand of the surgery that i decided so i am without a doubt going to share my weight loss surgery journey but i'll tell you guys little bits and pieces like things that i'm supposed to do the checklist of stuff that i have to do um certain things that they told me goals that i have that they gave me my surgeon was dr smith um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. Oh, so I wanted to do everything in my power for people to not believe that Dr. Smith was my surgeon because I did not want the surgery ruined for me because at the time it was everything. Like I wanted the surgery more than I ever wanted anything. And I didn't want anyone to ruin that for me because I could tell that that's what was happening. Amber started hinting that things were going on behind the scenes in March, 2023. So um, I'm done kind of getting into the nitty gritty. There is something currently happening, which I don't want to talk about. It wouldn't do any, it wouldn't do any good <laughs> at all. There's a lot happening um, behind the scenes and things that are uh, making this situation a lot harder on me for sure. I just don't feel like um, talking about it. I just have like my own set of like personal things happening right now that I just don't really, there's a time and a place and I just don't think it's the time and I don't think it's the place. Why didn't you tell us about Narc Alert doxing your surgeon way sooner than this? Like, why didn't you tell us while it was happening? Because if I did that, that would have confirmed who my surgeon was. A lot of people think that I go on Reddit and like, I get my subreddits taken down. I have never in my life done that, I'm telling you. Like, I'm not a Reddit girly pop and I truly don't care if people are on other websites talking about me on forums and things like that. Like, I don't care about that. But the Narc Alert actually got one of my subreddits taken down. She ended up bragging about it on her Discord saying like, I'm the one who got it taken down. And she was saying how, oh, everyone thinks it's Amber Lynn, but little do they know it was actually me. Many moons ago, six disgruntled people left our Discord and started a Reddit thread that gave our Discord a reputation for being toxic. So no, I stay away from Reddit. Reddit is down. The Am Babies or whatever the Amberlynn Reed sub subreddit is down. I don't like her. Her whole channel is very reflected around the fact that she thinks I'm a narcissist while she is continuously showing narcissistic tendencies, like, and she can't even admit to them. While I'm over here where it's like, yeah, I do have my narcissistic tendencies. I am able to pinpoint them for you if you wanted me to. Do you believe you're a narcissist? No. I got called a narcissist so much on YouTube that I started like doing research on narcissism. It made me believe for a minute that I really, really was. So I started doing these like stupid tests and stuff. I started seeing all these memes about like how if you research narcissism, it'll make you believe that you're narcissist when you're not. Because I think the biggest thing about if you're a narcissist versus if you aren't is empathy. And if I am near someone who's crying, I'm gonna start bawling my eyes out. Do I consider myself a narcissist? No, but I do have narcissist tendencies. A lot of people do. I know I'm not. I am known as a mean, rude, narcissist, cruel, cruel person who doesn't deserve her subscribers and viewers. What? I feel like I'm in a completely different planet sometimes. Like, Narc Alert is a narcissist. It is so beautiful. It's almost like art. To call your sister a narcissist, to have a whole channel calling Amberlynn Reed a narcissist while being a narcissist. It's almost like art. It's, it's truly, like she's fucking insane. Sorry. Straight up narcissism. But for you to like dox my surgeon, 
and like act like it's totally fine. Take down a whole ass subreddit, brag about it and say, ha ha ha, everyone thinks it's Amber Lynn, but little do they know it was actually me. And of course she's not gonna admit the wrongdoing of doxing a surgeon. Instead, she wants to blame her audience and she wants to blame kicking geese and everyone else around her. She even wants to blame me because I was sharing my journey to get weight loss surgery on YouTube. And I purposely was being very, very aware of the fact that like people could figure it out who it is. So I'm gonna make sure to say things that would steer them in a different direction. For those of you that I have hurt by lying about this, I am very sorry because that is never my intention to hurt anybody. So what do you think? Was Amber doxxed by NA and KG? Did Amber dox her surgeon herself? And the biggest question I've been seeing, can you dox a surgeon who's famous? Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, anywhere. I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary. Like, there are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. I do what I want.